I can hardly wait. Uh, uh, but uh, let me advise you. You better be thinking of how better to spend your time. Because really, getting to know me uh, could be a boring experience sometimes. You would let me be the judge of that, wouldn't you? I just thought I should advise you. What happened? Why the sudden change to come back home? Friend, let's face it. I was going to come back home one time. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> you can't fool me. It's me. Tell me, what's the matter? There's plenty of time for that and more later. <laughs> I read somewhere that there are no absolutes in life. Oh, look, forget that, sweetie. The only way this thing will not go as planned is if the process was being manipulated in any way. Maybe that's why you shouldn't be so sure. Hey, look. Look, I'm so sure because you never at any time told me that the process was being manipulated in your favor. Mm, well, I think you're right. I don't think my dad will have time for all this. Hello. Besides, even if he wants to make any move, he will tell me. Fine, so let's go pop some champagne, Jerry, because we both are heading to the north where we could be by ourselves. Champagne? Yeah. I think I'd rather wait till I receive my call up later. Hey, what are we waiting for? Let's go now. Let's go get it. Right now? Huh. I can think of no better time, Mom. Really, come on, let's go. Hey, you finally decided to come out. I'm so tired. I mean, I couldn't get enough sleep. Ah. But I'm wide awake now. That's good. And um, where's everybody? Ah. They've gone about their daily activities. And I should believe you now. What a boring prospect. Ah. You know how much I hate to be bored. Huh? And I trust you to always find one when the need arises. <laughs> it's all right. I mean, OK. I guess I'll survive. Huh? Ah. I trust you to do more than that. Oh. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Eh? Um, one more thing. Your outfit. You like it? Actually, I was about to, but don't you think it's a little bit revealing? <laughs> Sophie, <laughs> don't be prude. I mean, this is normal. In America, Maris. But here, some people might be getting the wrong message. Who? Your husband? your father's handiwork. Sylvia, how could you allow him to do this? What? What do you mean, how could I allow him to do this? Besides, what makes you think my dad is one responsible for this? Oh, wake up. Wake up and smell the coffee, <coughs> Sylvia. Okay, what are the chances of you, I mean, you spent all your life schooling in Lagos, and now you're ending up being posted where? Guess where? Lagos. Oh, Sylvia, come on. This is, this is definitely your father's handiwork. But dad wouldn't do that, would he? Of course he will. He's kept you under his wings all your life. What's that supposed to mean? It means he's kept you under his thumb all your life. He's kept you locked up in his palatial mansion like Rapunzel. Safe from all the wolves he considers men to be. No. It's got to be a coincidence. And I know there must be a logical explanation for all this to happen. Of course there's a logical explanation. It's called being daddy's little girl. That could be a pain in the neck sometimes, oh, right? Oh, please stop it. Stop it for God's sake. Stop it. 
This is a serious matter, okay? This is no time for joking around. You think this is a joke? You think I'm joking? Your dad just messed up my dreams and you think I'm joking? Your dreams? What about my dream? What about what I want? Huh? Here you are already condemning my father, yet all you really want is for things to work your own way. Look, but what I want is for us to be able to express our love without any limitations or fear of your father finding out. Sylvia, hold, hold. Sylvia, look. I'm sorry, okay? I'm very sorry. I am. I don't know. I don't know. How can... How would you do this now? How? It's okay, Sylvia. I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean all that I said. I'm very sorry. So wrong. So right. So wrong. So right. So wrong. So right, so wrong, so right. Folks say two wrongs don't make a right. I was actually not referring to my husband. I'm just saying that people will get the wrong impression when you go about dressed like this. Sophie, I'm indoors and I don't plan to go anywhere. So don't you worry. I won't be sending any messages to anybody, whether wrong or right. Besides, um, this country has become even hotter than the last time I was here. Uh, you can say that again, Maris. The sun has been hotter than ever before all over the world. And I guess it's the effect of the global warming. I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> not with all the roasted plantain and <laughs> corn you guys eat around here. <laughs> I bet there's hardly any ozone layer left hovering over this country. Maris, now you sabi. This is our country. This is where we call home. Well, I'm not complaining. Mm. After all, I'm back home for good, ain't I? Mm. So you say. <laughs> and when I get back, you're going to fill me in on the details of this your return of the Ninja moves. Oh, please, Sophie. Will you run off to work and let me be busy, buddy? I learned that from you. Oh, I see. Timmy! <laughs> Timmy! Where's this boy? He's been outside waiting for you since. Really? The boy looks nervous. I hope all is well. He's going with me to the hospital. Really? He needs to undergo a test. That's why he's nervous. What is wrong with him? He doesn't look sick to me. Maris, it's a long story. I'll see you later, then we can just... All right, bye. Bye. Yes. That was the final answer. I got it as well. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. No, girlfriend. The Meiji is better. The guy is simply a genius and simply irresistible. Oh yes, it is true. Mm -hmm. The guy is good. Kare, uh -huh. wasn't the test okay for you? Mm, not bad. I answered most stuff. Ha, here comes the man himself. Dimeji, come back here. Hey girls. Hi. How did you go with the test? Oh, fine. It was splendid. Yeah. Thanks to you, baby boy. Uh, I'm glad I was able to help. Oh yes, it is all. And we have you to thank for that. Um, you are such a good and patient teacher. <laughs> thank you. Teacher, yes. I beg you. I am just happy I was able to help you. And you know, boyfriend, there are a couple of things I can teach you, if you know what I mean. Mm. Hey, Karen, how did it go with you? And how is that your business? Come on. I can see it did not go well. I can see it in your eyes. So, what happened? Last night you were looking all over for someone to help you out and did not? Hey, Mr. Smart Ass. Mm. Didn't anyone teach you not to go about counting your chicks before they are hashed? We've barely finished the test. I'm already feeling like you've passed it. Oh, I will pass it. As a matter of fact, I will do more than passing it. I will specifically make sure I score more than you, even where we're at it. <laughs> mm. And that's with any noble prize, I guess. I don't need a noble prize. Looking at the defeated look on your face is all the trophy that I need. 
see about that. Wow, that is some mean chick. I like that. You know, baby boy, I can be mean, you know. Yeah, whatever. So, anyhow. I'm all right, thanks. Hopefully, Mr. Tash should be back by then. All right, thank you very much. The lab officer is not around at the moment, but I've been told he'll soon be back. So we just have to wait a while. Okay, Mom. And uh, I was thinking we could go and see Angela, the female ward, and see how she's recovering. I don't want to see her. You don't want to see her. Timmy, this is a girl you attacked. A girl that is probably pregnant for you. And the girl who has probably infected me with HIV. The girl who has probably destroyed my life. You didn't think about that before you went about fishing for easy prey? You didn't think about that? When you went about having sex with her without even thinking why is enough to her to use the protection? So huh? wrong, so right, so wrong, so right, so wrong, so right. Timmy, I know this is a difficult period for you. I know you're scared. I am your mother and I can see it in your eyes. You're scared of the outcome of the test. But I want you to know that no matter what the outcome will be, your dad and I will always be there for you. Okay? So wrong. So right. So wrong. So right. I'll go check on Angela. I'll see you soon. Sophia actually said you have refused to stay at home and rest, even though you just recovered from a bout of typhoid fever. Well, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> I just had to take care of a few things in the office. We have to make the money, you know. <laughs> but that's why I came back early, so I can take some rest. All I need now is a cold drink and a shower. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh. And rest your feet. Okay. I'll go get you a cold drink. I may have been away in the state for so long, mm -hmm. but I still know how to take care of a true African man. What's the difference in taking care of African men and American men? Oh dear, there's a very big difference. Mm. American men like to treat their women to a romantic dinner with candles and all the stuff. But an African man, an African man likes to be pampered by his woman with a homemade cooking, served hot and spicy. Uh, <laughs> but African men also take their women out for dinners too. Oh, uh, please. Anyway, I'm done with American men. What I need right now is a real African man to cater to. Mm. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Mm. So wrong, so right, so wrong, so right, so wrong, so right, so wrong, so right. Folks say two wrongs don't make a right, 
But if it is true Good afternoon, Miss Otate. Good afternoon, Dr. Wright. I just felt uh, I should drop by and see how Angela is faring. Oh, thank you so much. Dr. Jide said she's recovering very well. I'm glad to hear that. I'm very glad to hear that. And I also want to thank you for dropping charges against my son. Oh, it's the least I could do. Considering that you battled so hard to save her life, oh, I'm most grateful to you for that. No. We should all be most grateful to God for making everything turn out right. You can say that again. Mr. Tote, have you been home at all? Looks like you need to catch some sleep. Ah, I won't leave until I can speak to my daughter. Man, it's just a new song I'm working on, you know. It's the new song of the album. The new song is going to be the hit on the album. That's the song I'm hoping is going to, it's going to get me the new recording deal I'm looking for. Anyway, let's just hope it's as good as you say it. Because you might just have the opportunity to perform in front of some big time studio executives sooner than you guys think. What are you talking about, man? Kev, just come straight, please. I'm talking about Genesis Studio. Genesis Studios? What's that about? It's about you, Toye. How could you do this to me, man? How could you? What, my dear? This, that, this. My NYS letter just came out. And I was posted to Lagos. <laughs> okay. But isn't that a good thing? Not if you had a hand in it, Dad. Not if you were the one that arranged for me to be posted to Lagos. Please, Dad. Please tell me honestly that you have nothing to do with it. That it, it was just a coincidence. That it just happened. <laughs> 